Hi my beautiful babes, welcome back to the Daisy Dollar. For those who are new, welcome. My name is Katie and we do all things budgeting on this channel. So if you guys are interested in these type of contents, feel free to click the subscribe button down below. So I want to put it out there that I know on Instagram I did mention that I am feeling really sick. Um, I do have a fever and I feel really really sluggish, like I felt like I got hit by a bus. But I am continuing to making these videos for you guys because I know you guys love these videos and I do enjoy filming these and it does relaxes me a lot. So please bear with me if I'm moving a bit slow. So today we will be budgeting out the first paycheck of May, a total of $1,283. And first things first is my wallet. Um, we're going to be stuffing gas and it's going to get $70 because gas did go up quite a bit. Um, dining out, not sure if I'll be dining out but since I'm feeling a little sick I might order in some soup. So dining out is getting 40 and then groceries getting 40 and then if I do go out to eat, if I do feel better this weekend, I'm gonna go out to eat. So that is 70, 40, 110, 155, 11, left. And then for my 51 envelope challenge, we're doing 82. And thank you guys for helping me sell out on all my binders, which my binders launched um, May 5th at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on that Sunday, this past Sunday. So I only have one cream and three beige left. So I will show you guys the color difference. If you guys are so interested, I do only have four left. And then I will, I think I will start this. So I am going to scrub out. And this is from Jen on a Budget. My sis sells this on her shop. So we have seven. So seven, eleven. So seven and eleven. I'm going to put as savings challenge. So 11 plus 7 equals 18. And then April. We're continuing 25, which is the last paycheck. I mean, not the last, the last two numbers that I need to stuff. Because I went on vacation and I wasn't able to do the first week of May or the last cash stuffing for this. And then I'm going to use um, a little of all from Taylor, the $1 savings challenge for Lunar New Year's and Combined New Year's. So I will be doing $2 for this. And then Father's Day is going to get $40. And then last but not least is my Christmas savings challenge and it's going to get 20 open because I have a fever and I do want to like have some fresh air in my room so next is my bills and I forgot that I ordered something with my PayPal so I do owe about $32 um, PayPal I am going to put in 12 today 
um, American Express. My boyfriend owes me $95, but I will put my money in here first and then once he pays me, I will take my money back and put it back into the bank and use his money that he gave me. So, Amex is getting 35 and he owes me 95 um, city, I didn't have money stuffed enough for gas, so I had to use my credit card for gas, and it was a total of $58, but I am going to keep this in a bank since I will draft that for payment after this video. Student loans is getting $100, but in prop money. TNT is going to get 15 and then I will have another cash on stuffing um, later on this week because I do need to pull out from this um, car insurance because I do have to pay that this upcoming week and then my car payment is getting 195 but that is staying in a bank because this is the last payment added towards the 585 that I have in the bank and that is ready for payment for the 17th. Subscriptions is getting five. Gym membership is getting 10. Easy pass is getting 20. And your fees is getting 10 so I might not even do the one year contract um, I might just do the six month because if I don't save that much which $72 saving in the one year contract opposed to doing two of the six month policy doesn't make sense so I'd rather just do the two six months instead of one whole year so um, I think I'm not going to stuff this. Actually, I will. Just in case I end up doing the one year. Um, I'm giving it $200, which is what I need. And this will be staying in the bank. And I'll be unstuffing all of this. And then auto care is getting 50 And a one month ahead. It's getting five. So that is it for my high my bills binder in high priority or whether whatever it is. So I'm gonna calculate this really fast. Then we have 226 left. We're gonna go into my pink binder. Medical is getting five. Deductible is getting five. I'm gonna skip dental. Purchase savings getting 25. Gifts is getting 10. My boyfriend spent all his money in Aruba, so I'm gonna restuff that as five. My pets is getting five. Um, let's get that for now. I think that is it. So just those. Seventy-one left and then I know for my home binder I'm gonna stuff down payment closing costs and earnest deposit as well down payments getting 20 closing costs is getting 10 and earnest deposits getting 10 which is 40 
and then we have 131 left and then for my vacation binder um i'm only stuffing two of the envelopes which is my admin this is for my timeshare that I've been having for almost a couple years now. This is how I go on my vacations for a very cheap, affordable price. Um, and then the maintenance fee is getting 15. That is 41. All right. So 131 minus 41 is 90 dollars. And then now we're gonna jump into my personal binder and somebody's mowing their lawn <sighs> can't get a break okay so spending is going to get 10 supplements is getting 10 beauty is getting 20 Groceries buffer is going to get an extra 10. Dining out is going to get an extra 10. Day night is getting an extra 10. And then wardrobe is going to get 20. Alright, so that equals up to zero that I have left. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90. And then remember, we're keeping one, two, three, four in the bank. So I'm going to calculate that and minus from the total. So we're keeping 553 in the bank. So we should have 730 in cash that we're pulling out. So we're doing 50, 20, 10, fives, and ones. And I'll do my denomination really fast. Alright guys, so we have three fifties, which is 150, then we have a 1720s, which is 340, then we have 1610s, which is 160, we have 13 fives, which is 65, and 15 ones. And that equals up to 730 in cash. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.